Hey bourbon fans, I'm Tim the Suburban Dad. Helping dads find great bourbon. The month of June is upon us and with that comes some new releases in the whiskey world. I'm here to tell you all about them. So let's get to it. Today I'm gonna to have a pour of good old Baker's seven year while I'm chatting with you guys. Before I get into the nitty gritty of this video, I do want to reiterate my upcoming in-person whiskey tasting event. It is a Father's Day whiskey tasting over at the Rock House in Cottleville here in Missouri. Details and link to buy tickets will be in the description. You do need to buy tickets ahead of time online to be able to get in. So I'd love to have you. It's going to be Saturday, June 17th from 2 to 5. Check out the link for more information. In the world of whiskey in June, we got a few new releases, some that are released technically last month in May, but are just now hitting the shelves, so they're worth mentioning. First of all, new. Let's talk about new stuff. New Riff has some new releases coming out. They've got yellow leaming bourbon, they've got blue clarage bourbon, and they've got their high note series. So the yellow leaming and blue clarage that's hard to say. Try to say that five times fast. Those two are heirloom corns that are part of the mash bill. And both of those bourbons are 100 proof. Uh, I think they're retailing for, I think I saw the one online for about 55, but not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But heirloom corn, special variety of corn, bound to add some interesting flavors to it. The High Note series is a way for them to release their, they, they call it their one-off bottles that I don't know if they're just odd batches or what. There's one out there, single Balboa rye, single barrel Balboa rye. That's a little higher proof at 110 proof. So be on the lookout for that as well. The month of June is kind of boring in terms of bourbon, but there are some American single malts hitting the shelves. It is the new craze, latest and greatest thing. Jim Beam is releasing their new American single malt, the Claremont Steep. It comes in at 94 proof. It's gonna retail for around 65 bucks. And that one is aged for five years. This is the first time that they're releasing a single malt from Jim Beam. Should be interesting, we'll see. I actually have a treat for you guys coming up soon. I'll be able to give you a sneak peek of a tasting of this bottle. I was able to get a sample, so stay tuned for that. So it'll be interesting to see how it turned out. I'm curious. Second American single malt is from Jack Daniels. So last year they released their twice barreled American single malt, which is finished in Oloroso sherry uh, barrels, casks, whatever. This year they're releasing their American single malt, also finished in Oloroso sherry. It comes in at 90 proof and it's sold in a liter bottle for some reason. But why a liter? I have no idea. Price tag is right around 100 bucks for that one. The twice, twice barreled version, it was pretty good. I just went back to it recently and I did enjoy it quite a bit. Is it worth secondary? Absolutely not. Is it worth it for the MSRP? But yeah, I'd say so. It's tasty. It's very, very heavy on the sherry though, I will say that. But that one is hitting the shelves. Keep an eye out. Third American single malt, another one from Balcones. Sorry, I was getting thirsty. Balcones Mirador, but it's a special release. It's a rum cask finish. Mirador is one of their American single malts made from 100% Golden Promise Barley, and it's aged in a used oak barrel and then finished in their own rum barrel. They make rum at the distillery as well. Sad part about this one, it's a distillery only release. So if you're anywhere near Waco, Texas on June 10th, that's when it's gonna be dropping. Didn't see any sort of price tag. The normal Mirador is around 70, 80 bucks. So I'm sure this one's gonna be a little north of that. Proof point is 108. Proof. Sounds very promising. Great summertime drink with that rum finish to it. 
Now available are three bourbons. Back to bourbon, I know you guys were waiting for that. We got Larceny Barrel Proof, B523. We got Elijah Craig, B523. And we've got Booker's, um, The Apprentice Batch. And again, on the Larceny, that one is retailing for about 60 bucks these days. Elijah, Elijah Craig retailing for about 70, 65, 70. Booker seems to be holding steady at 90 plus. Although I've seen some Facebook posts lately of Costco having it for $79. That's pretty amazing. So if you live in a state where your Costco carries it, check that out for sure. So a little slower in the whiskey world this month, but still some exciting stuff coming out. It'll be interesting to see where this American single malt train leads. Again, down at Balcones, they've got it figured out. They're locked in. They're great with American single malt. Companies like Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, Limestone Branch released theirs already. You know, I didn't really like Limestone Branch's single malt at all. Um, Jack Daniels was pretty good. We'll see what Jim Beam is like. I love, I love a lot of the Jim Beam products. So, hey, maybe they've figured it out first try. So I'm hesitantly optimistic for it. We'll see. In the meantime, thanks for checking in with me today, folks. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you have some great bourbon today. And until next time, 